Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm ready to do my full review on the Vero Engineering Synapse Gen 2. So this is a knife I got in, uh, I don't know, I guess a couple weeks ago now at this point, maybe three weeks ago, and I have absolutely loved spending time with this knife. Uh, it is actually currently the last of my Vero's. Um, I went ahead and sold the Synapse XL. I traded the Impulse and the Mini Impulse, or one of them, for um, a Holt Haptic. Um, and then I sold the last one, which was a Mini Impulse in hand satin, much like this, um, earlier this week when I did my knife collection purge. And uh, basically, I things I wasn't carrying... I decided to just move on from to bring funds in and to just kind of pare my collection down a little bit to um, the ones I really, really love to carry and kind of things I'm reviewing and or things that were like gifts or donations to the channel. Um, and it really came down to the clips for me on all of those Vero's except the Synapse XL. That clip was great. Um, it just was a, a big version of this, and I absolutely love this knife. Um, and I don't see this one going anywhere. The clip on it functions perfectly for me. Um, so yeah, I'll get to that at the end, but I kind of wanted to mention that I have kind of sold off all my bureaus. Uh, cheers to you guys. I got my Dock Street here. <sighs> Winding down the week. It's a Thursday night, and I'm just wrapping the day up, and... Um, yeah, so let's get to it. The Vero Engineering Synapse Gen 2 is a fantastic little EDC knife. Um, it's been a pleasure to carry and fidget with, even though I'm left-handed and I can't really use the V-slot or V-spot all that much. I do do it occasionally. I do do occasionally. Um, but yeah, let's start with aesthetics. So this is an absolutely stunning drop point blade. Um, I love the blade shape. I do think I prefer his Tantos, but this is also gorgeous, so it's hard to really say which one's better, but I love a good Tanto. Um, it has this straight back design down into this Strider kind of sort of uh, angled, you know, uh, butt here underneath this flat to this kind of um, indent here and then up to this flat and out to the tip, right? Um, and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, this knife comes in M390 steel. You have your options. Now it's not available anymore. They did a drop yesterday, my time, and they sold quick. I was thinking about getting another one and I was trying to get one for a friend and uh, I got cart sniped twice on two different variants. Um, so when they have some and they go fast um so it's a game it's a game you gotta play and you, you know you just gotta get in the secondary join the facebook group and just ask anybody got one you'll get comments that tell you they do and then you'll have to decide if you're willing to pay 500 bucks for one that's basically the game this was 395 dollars when i bought it new um well, I got somebody's pre-order spot, but whatever. Same thing, right? Um, and so $100 extra to get one of these, right? Now think about all the bitching that people do in the Facebook groups. On the daily, there's people in there bitching, and then there's people bitching about the bitching, and then there's people like me bitching about the bitching about the bitching. <laughs> it, to me, it's worth the extra hundred bucks to just not worry about that. Just pay the extra hundred bucks, get your knife, see if you like it. If you don't, you'll get your money back, right? Uh, if you do, great. You, you spent an extra hundred bucks. Like, all that worrying and frustration over it, right? Just think about it. That's the way I look at it anyway. Sorry, my dominoes showed up. <laughs> um, it's my night to cook, and you know what that means. I'm ordering food. Um... Where was I? I think I was bitching about people bitching about people bitching, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, <clears throat> I think it's worth to just just pay the extra money and get the fuck over with and let it go, right? Um, I love the Facebook groups. I, that's the only reason I have Facebook is for knife uh, groups, but sometimes it does get a little crazy. 
um, uh, people whining, and, and I get it, but, like, at the same time, just get over it. Like, 5,000 people don't need to know that you missed the drop and you're pissed and your cart got sniped. Like, it happens to all of us. Just happened to me yesterday, twice, like, on the same drop. I, I don't care. I didn't get one. Whatever. If I want one that bad, I will pay extra to get it. And just because I got this one for retail doesn't mean it. I paid $450 for one of my mini impulses. I paid $430 for the other. Or no, I traded a Satori 2.0, which was a $640 knife new. I paid $400 for my Synapse XL. That was a pretty good deal, actually. Uh, my Axon, I paid $450 for. Like, <clears throat> I do it just as much as anybody. I'm guilty of paying those prices. But I don't bitch about it when I don't get one. Because I just go buy one. Like, they are available. They're just not available for the price you want. <laughs> right? Anyway, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm an asshole. I get it. Um, aesthetics, fantastic. This one has the hand rub satin. That's how I got off on a tangent. Um, I wanted to tell you what variants you can get. So, they're available in five blade uh, configurations. Hand satin like this, which is absolutely stunning guys um belt satin which is also very nice uh the grind lines are um vertical instead of like horizontal on this one um there's a stone wash blade um and then there's a dlc and a black wash and basically the difference is one is a coating and one is like a, a stone wash that's black i guess um so I'm guessing the black wash is very resistant to damage and stuff, scratches and stuff, and the DLC just looks blacked out, but you could scratch it up and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, that's as far as I know. And then handle-wise, you had red G10, you had uh, carbon fiber, you had this marbled carbon fiber, um, you had black micarta, and you had natural micarta. I think that's all of them. And then you could get any one of those variations together, right? So like this one is hand satin with marbled carbon fiber, which I think is the best looking one. But I did want to pick up a black wash with marble, marbled carbon fiber or DLC with marbled carbon fiber. Because I've seen a couple people with those and the blacked out look with the carbon fiber looks absolutely sexy. Um... But whatever, I didn't get one, and I don't need to, and uh, I'm fine with it, right? So, ergonomics on this guy. So, for me, being left-handed, if I hold it back here, I can just get all four fingers on. My thumb still lands past the jimping here, but it's kind of on there a little bit. It's comfortable, but it's not, like, the best, you know, uh, ergos in the world, but it's fine. I could cut like this, but... I always use this forward flat choil. That's what I call it. Um, I think, I mean, it's known that Joseph designed it to be a choil. So I usually hold this knife like this when I'm going to cut something. And this is very comfortable, especially left-handed because there's not a reversible clip. So a lot of people complain about the plane on this clip, how it angles up at the end, but it doesn't plateau out. And that's something that Joseph is working on, on new models. Um, so righties tend to complain about a hot spot with this. I don't have that problem because I'm left-handed. So my kind of ring finger or middle finger just sits on it. And I don't honestly notice it at all uh, unless I sit here and like think about it. And But when I'm using the knife or whatever, I don't ever notice the clip. It is not a hot spot for me. So ergonomics are good on this. They're not fantastic, but they're good. They're really good up in this choked up grip, and they're like good back here, right? So not out of this world or anything, but definitely a solid like, you know, 7 out of 10, 6, 7 out of 10 on ergos. Um, cutting. So this M390 blade with the hand satin, it looks gorgeous, but it also is functionally very good. It comes down to a decent edge, so it's not like the sliciest thing in the world. Like, uh, a lot of people complained about the Synapse XL being really fat behind the edge, right? Um, and it was. It was. Um, but it still cut really well. The geometry was really good. The full flat grind was really good. And it's the same here, except 
you have thinner blade stock to start with and it just comes down to a really good edge i'd probably put it in the high teens maybe you know 18,000 17,000 um i'm not a human caliper so i could be wrong but it feels really good it cuts very well uh, i opened some packages cut some cardboard uh sliced some paper and it, it did fantastic at all those things it's a solid blade shape good drop point you have a good enough amount of straight here and then you have your belly here a solid tip to go ahead and get into things just I mean, a, a drop point is one of the most versatile blade shapes there is. That's why it's so popular. Um, and I do love a good drop point. And this is one of those. So cutting is good, guys. Uh, carry. So this is where uh, the rub kind of is on Vero's a little bit. Um, and, it, and a lot of people kind of <sighs> overlook it, I think, just because of how great Vero is and the rest of the knives and the designs and everything. Um, but it is, a, it is an issue, but on this knife, it's not. So again, for me, this clip does not bother me because I'm left-handed. So I can't speak to the whole hotspot thing, but the clip itself going in and out of pocket is fantastic. This has enough clearance and it goes in and out. No problem. Uh, my mini impulses and my accent, I had to shove even my full size impulse. I had to shove it in and rip it out. I can't sugarcoat that at all. It made them almost uncarryable. And I wish I had I wish I had waited another few weeks before I did my reviews because I probably would have given it a little more harsh points on the clip. Um, I mentioned it and everything, but I don't think I emphasized enough that it is an issue. Um, it made it to where I did not carry those knives. Um I would just pick them up. I would play with them and fidget with them. And I work from home. So, like, that doesn't always factor in as much as it does for somebody who doesn't. Um, but this clip is fantastic. It works great. Do I wish it was shorter? Yes. Do I wish it was deep carry in some way? Yes. Would that take away from the design? Maybe. But a, a, a smaller clip, like, that went to here with a similar kind of shape, get rid of this whole fat part back here and just make it slimmer, I think it would work. Um, but I'm not a designer, you know, I'm not trying to, whatever. Uh, I, I This clip works great, okay? But on some of the previous models, it just was a functional issue because carrying was a problem. Anyway, carry is great on this knife. You At least this example, maybe it varies from knife to knife, but... The full or the XL synapse I had, same thing, worked great. So I don't know if it's the platform that's different. Maybe because uh, the impulses it rests right on the titanium, and the axon it's on my car. I don't I don't know honestly. Uh, I just think the clearance was raised a little bit on this run, and they did a great job with it. Um, so carry is good. Um, sounds. So sounds are solid, not a hindrance, not really a big bonus. It's like a five, right? Which a lot of knives honestly are these days. Uh, I find myself saying that, you know, that they're not terrible, but they're not great. It's just fine, right? It's just a knife opening and closing, which is fine. Um, it's better than the Axon that I had in my Carta that had like really dull sounds, but that's because of my Carta and it was a liner lock. I don't know. Um, and it's similar to the other Vero's I've had, which are good. So, um, okay. So I kind of left action here for, you know, before I got to value and stuff. Um, the action on this knife is incredible. So the flipper tab is that classic Vero flipper tab jipping up here where you have to pull back and it just, oh man, the detent on this specific one is dialed to perfection. I cannot fail it. And honestly, this could have the lightest detent in the world and you wouldn't be able to fail it because of this flipper design. Just the way it is shaped, the way it is seated above the pivot, and the way you have to pull down on it, there's almost no way to fail it. 
but the detent is dialed perfectly for this one. If you want to do the middle finger flick with the V spot, especially here for righties, uh, this is important. It is dialed for that. You can also do a front flip. So it's really good, guys. Uh, I have very much enjoyed the action. Left-handed, I do not have any issues uh, locking up the lock bar. You'll see it is a bolster lock, and there's only this much lock that is uh, open there for you to put your finger on or anything, and I tend to just land in a different spot. I tend to land like right on the pivot, bang, and she bangs out, no issues. The closing action, guys. I went ahead and swapped this out to uh, salt and pepper Gillian bearings, I believe. Um, it came with uh, like nylon caged ceramic bearings. Um, and guys, it is just butter. I mean, I have it to where there is not even a hint of blade play. And it just is buttery smooth. Um, sometimes it'll glide all the way home. Sometimes I got to give it a little encouragement, but it is just utterly fantastic. So smooth and crisp. Um, yeah, it, it's just great, guys. Uh, I cannot speak more highly of Gillian Bearings or Vero Action. Um, just the way he's engineered these designs. And I will say, from now having every model other than the original Synapse, he has improved the action on every single model. From the Impulse I first had, to the Mini Impulse I have had, I had two of those, to the Synapse XL, to the Axon, and now to this, they just got better and better and better. And I take these apart all the time because I'm swapping bearings and Loctiting and all that stuff. And he 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 messed with the pivot system on each one. I mean, not each one, but you could see an evolutionary change from that first impulse to where we are with this. And it shows, guys. It is part of the reason why I sold all the other ones. Because this is just so good. And just updated to perfection that it was hard for me to want to pick up the other ones because I knew I had this. And to be fair, the XL is just as good. The It's better because it, it has a heavier blade and everything, so it really just flies home. Uh, it just glides home. This one needs a little encouragement. I could tune it to, to glide down, but... I would probably have a little bit of blade play, and I, I hate that, so I am fine with this. I love the action, guys. It is so good. Um, and it is why I would recommend trying to get a Synapse or Synapse XL if you're trying to get your first Vero or only Vero. I think those are the two models to go for purely out of that. If you are more of a work knife guy, the Axon is a perfect blend of that because you get that really nice sheep's foot orny blade um, with a good blade length. You get a, a worker's type grip liner lock. You can get my Carta on it and you still get unbelievable drop shut action on that Axon. So um, I would steer towards the later models is what I'm saying. Um and he's going to he's going to do new runs probably of the impulse and mini impulse and i'm betting you he's going to update those and they're going to be even better i'm not saying those aren't good watch my reviews i love those knives but he innovates he keeps pushing the you know he he doesn't just sit back and say well everybody liked my impulse so i'm going to just keep making it just like that and i'll make new versions and just keep doing everything the same but i'll change the blade shape no he keeps refining things and now he's starting to work on the clip he's even coming out with new axon clips for people to buy um, and he's gonna have a new clip style that will be going forward on models and he changed the pivot design from the first one to now and he's constantly making those 
constant quality improvements. And that's what I love so much about Vero. That's what I love about a lot of these kind of micro brands that are just innovating and, and doing new things. They're not just resting on their laurels. And I absolutely appreciate that as a customer. Yeah, does it suck a little bit that you could buy a knife that's six months old and it's already kind of outdated? Okay, but the benefits outweigh that so much that now I have this sucker in my hand, right? And, ah, guys, it's just so good. And I'm not saying it's the perfect knife or whatever, but for $395 that I paid for this, it's a home run. It absolutely is a home run. Like, it's so good. So that takes me to value. $395 retail for this. Yes, that is a value. You get marble carbon fiber. You get uh, titanium. You get uh, M390 blade. Um, you get fantastic action. You, you get all that for $395. I will take it, right? Um, $500 on the secondary. Is it worth it? No, it is not a $500 knife. Would I pay it? Yes, I would pay $500 for this. Because of all the reasons I stated earlier. Like, if this came up for retail and it was $500 on Vero's website, and I could buy them at any time, no, I don't think I'd be like, oh, this is a great value. I'd still buy it, but I wouldn't be like, this is a great value, right? And even for 400 bucks, you know, it's not that it's not worth it, but in your head, you're like, $400 for a knife, like, it's worth that, but it's not like, oh, yeah, I got a deal, right? Um, but with the whole situation with the secondary and how many people want these and, and everything going on, is it worth throwing an extra 100 bucks out there for one of these? Yes! If you have disposable income, that is, that is what we do, right? This is all disposable in, income, guys. Uh, after I bought this knife right here four years ago or three years ago, I did not need to spend another penny on a folding knife. And to be honest, I didn't even need to spend the 115 I did on this one, right? So we're, we're, we're working with how it's money here, right? And, uh, that extra hundred bucks is worth it, guys. Just don't, just don't buy that Civivi Riffle next week or don't buy that, um, Whatever $100 knife, the Stinger, like just skip that one next week and add 100 bucks to what you would have paid for this and buy the fucking thing on the secondary and stop bitching, okay? Jesus. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, recommendations. I recommend this to everyone unless you're the ultra lefty guy who... who, who can't have anything be right-handed, Eclipse not reversible, and oh, the slot is only on one side. I've been that guy, and um, I get it, to each their own, but I have come a long way, and I love this knife. So I recommend it to anybody. If you have smaller sized hands, so like small to large glove sized hands, this is your guy right here. Okay, Synapse Gen 2. Large to XL size hands, it's preference. I had the XL and the Gen 2, and I liked them both. And they both fit my hand, it was fine. But the XL was just a little big for me to carry around, and, and it didn't make sense when I had this, right? Um... But it was a great knife, and it did work for me at that size. So that one's kind of preference. If you like a smaller EDC, take the Gen 2. If you like a bigger EDC, take the XL. Anything over an XL size glove hand, just try to find the Synapse XL. This is going to be too small for you, and that's going to be the first thing you say. When this thing came out of the box, I thought it was a bit small. Now that I've had it for a while, it's actually perfect for me. Um... I mean, it fits like a glove in my hand, guys. And they are coming out with a mini version of this, which I don't think I need that one because it's that's probably going to be too small for me. Um, this is like a Goldilocks size. I do like the mini impulse size, maybe a touch more, but I am perfectly fine with this. I love this knife. So 
that's basically how I'm going to wrap this up, guys. Uh, by the way, this is number 450. I think they did 500 or 600 in this run. Um, but, guys, this knife is fantastic. I, I can't say it enough. Vero, he's just a great fucking guy. Um, I just hit 1,000 subscribers the other day. Thank you all. And I was reaching out to companies for giveaway items. And I asked Vero. And he was like, yeah, sure, of course. And he sent me out a giveaway pack. I have it sitting over there waiting to unbox it once everything gets here. And, you know, it's not going to have a knife in it. But I don't expect somebody to send me a $400 knife to give away. But just the fact that he took the time to listen to me, respond to me. I've chatted with him a bit. Um, he's just a great dude. He tries to communicate with anybody who wants to communicate with him. Um, uh, he's smart like that. That is great customer service and great marketing. Use what you can. Social media is free. Like, duh, but he's really good at it. And somebody's going to get a cool hat and a cool shirt, I bet, because I'm pretty sure that's what's in there. Um, so just to say, I love Vero. Um, I can't wait for the isotope to get here whenever that's ready. And the Synapse Gen 2 is an absolutely fantastic knife. I don't think this one's going to be leaving the collection like the others did. I don't have any good reasoning for that. It carries very well. It cuts very well. The action's fantastic. Uh, maybe if I got a different one, like the blacked out one I wanted, maybe I'd sell one. But I say that about a lot of things, and then I sell them a month later because life changes, my tastes change, whatever. But right now, this is a keeper absolutely love this knife i'm gonna shut up now i love you all i hope you have a fantastic day and i will catch you later